Hello, sunshine. This is Joy coming from Michigan in the United States with a new painting today. I have a 12 by 12 canvas here and I have prepped it by taping the back and putting little push pins in. I prefer, well, I shouldn't say I prefer. I would like to try, there's some really big ones that you can get that can be put in with a hammer. I don't have any of those yet, maybe soon. Um, but that keeps the canvas up so that the paint, paint doesn't stick on the edges here. And it also keeps the back looking a little bit nicer if you wanted to sell or even gift it. It's, some people prefer a clean back. So just checking to make sure that's still in frame. Today I'm gonna do a flip cup. I did that yesterday with a bowl and it turned out so, so pretty that I decided I would try it on a canvas as well. Different colors, but same idea. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the back of my canvas with water. What this will do is kind of tighten up the canvas. So I just get it to dry. It dries pretty quickly. See how loose that is? Let me see if I can dry it off. It is a beautiful sunny and warm day here in Michigan today. I hope it's a beautiful day where you are. It just makes life feel better even if it's not exactly what you want so or if your day is not going as you want I should say just having nice weather makes it feel better so I'm going to set that off to the side and fill my cup I'm going with mostly warm colors today and as always I'm just kind of um, figuring out as I go <laughs> so Oh, goodness sakes, I just tried to put, I don't know if you guys could see that, but I put this cap on and it just squirted orange paint out. So if you don't have a surface that you can just not worry about um, getting paint on, garbage bags work really well, drop cloth, silicone, um, the silicone mats they make are fantastic. So... There's a lot of ways to protect your surface. I don't worry about it because this is a table that's only used for art and then I can scrape it off every once in a while. Um, I will tell you most of my colors as I go, but I'm gonna show you guys this one right off the bat. This is a um, custom color that I made quite a while ago for a painting that I was commissioned to do. It's, it's basically an off-white, but I couldn't tell you what I put in it because it's been quite some time ago. Just trying to make sure all my caps are off so I'm ready to go and I can just kind of fill my cup as I see fit. This is one of my metallics that I have marked plus FT so I know that's got Floetrol in it already and it's ready to be used as a poured paint. Um, this is Worn Penny. It's kind of a bronzish, bronzish color. Okay, so I think... I'm gonna start with my cream on the bottom. Oh, well, I probably should check, because this paint has been sitting so long, I should probably check consistency. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's leaving a trace on the top. One, two, three, four, almost five seconds. So I am gonna go ahead and water that down just a little bit because I do want it to match the consistencies of the other paints. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one because it's already almost full. Although, like I said, if it ends up on my table, it's not the end of the world. Two, three, that still seems thick to me, so. And it's not a metallic, so I don't necessarily need it to be thicker than the rest. Because my ta metallics tend to sink. And I love having a little metallic sheen on top of the other colors. It's just, it really produces a, a beautiful effect. If I had my flower from the other day out here, I could show you what I mean. But maybe on my next video, I can show you what that one's looking like dry. It's, it's turning out really pretty. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right. Now 
And this I think was probably made from more craft type paints, not, not the best brand probably, but I haven't had any issues with them so far. Let's pray that continues. All right, Quinacridone Magenta, my new favorite pink. And then the one I had my pour yesterday, I went from Quinacridone Magenta to this orange. This is, I wanna say Cadmium Orange, maybe Cadmium Orange Medium. I'll look at it in just a second. It is Cadmium Orange Hue by Liquitex. It created a really stunning effect. So I'm gonna try for that same kind of look and then we'll do yellow on top of that. This is cadmium medium hue yellow. This one is cadmium red medium hue. I'm going with all these red or these cadmium mediums. So that'll be interesting to see how this all comes out. But this red is almost to to my eye, it looks almost orangish. Like it needs a little bit, I don't know, maybe one of my pores I'll add just a little bit of blue to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add blue there. And then I do want to add for contrast, ooh, I feel like there was a clump that went in there. If so, we will pick it out when we do our flip cup. The bowl that I poured the other day, I just didn't feel like it had enough contrast. It was really pretty. And the wood absorbs so much paint that I feel like we lost. I lost some of the pretty. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping I, I've got enough contrasting colors today. So that was one thing that I felt like was missing yesterday. And then back to the orange. And this is probably way more paint than I need, but I'm gonna go with it anyways. Add some of this bronze. I love the metallics. They just add something really special to my paintings. There are some people that really don't like them. If you're one of those people, avoid it. Mm, you know what? I don't want to do, I'm going to do one more color before I do the blue. Blue and orange will make brown. And I know I've got that bronze in there, which is kind of a brownish color, but I don't really want an actual brown and I'm trying not to pour if you pour the paints from up high they tend to mix and I don't want mixed paints I like that but you can see they're they're clearly mixing that white as heavy so it's sinking well, we'll see how this turns out this is towards the bottom the bottom of the painting and towards the top of the cup at the bottom of the painting so we may not see a whole lot of that anyways all right and none of these colors have silicone in them these are all just um, the colors as is. All right, so we've got our cup. I've got my 12 by 12 canvas. I actually had two here, so this is a different one, but same thing, prepped on the back. Make sure you guys can see that. Okay, so oh, here goes. You know what? No, I don't want to use this one, even though I just put a little paint on it because I haven't sprayed that one yet. So let me get the one I sprayed. Oh, you hear how that... Sounds like a drum. It made that canvas just a little bit tighter, which is what I want. Ugh. All right. So I'll let that sit for a minute. It is supposed to be an absolutely gorgeous weekend in my neck of the woods, so I am excited about that. We were able to, uh, me and my husband and my daughter and our five-month-old puppy went for a walk um, in a local town here and just it was just so nice to be out there we didn't see very many people there weren't a whole lot of people in town today but we had some errands to run and we were able to get those done and then take a little walk with the dog and when my daughter was out of the house that's the first time in six weeks so I think she really enjoyed it so that is good hopefully you guys can kind of find time to do that in your world as well I think it's important or at least it has been for me to find time to be other places other than just in my home. All right. Oh, this is always the intimidating part because you just never know what it's going to be. Okay, guys, back with you. That was so scary. I'm not sure what happened, but my tripod just 
fell. It did not hit the painting. This cup has been sitting plenty long enough. So hopefully I can do this without the tripod falling again. Oh goodness. Okay, here we go. All right. Well, look at that. I might, oh, look at those colors over there. I kind of don't want to lose those. I don't know about that black. It's creating a lot of gray. And I'm certainly not loving, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have a hard time telling if you guys can see this and I apologize for the pink you're seeing. I'm, I gotta find a better setup. Oh, well, I've got my camera on the wrong way. All right, hold on okay. one second. My goodness, this has been just the, the flub up. Oh, look at these pretty orange cells popping up. That is nice. So I'm just gonna try to gently tilt this. I really don't wanna lose this beautiful ribbon right here. So that's, once you've put the paint down, you kind of have to watch your, it's hard to do this and talk at the same time, your composition and let go of the stuff that you don't love but keep the things that you do. And I always try to recenter that paint after you've tilted. And you can just, like here, we'll help it. We'll help it along. And you don't have to cover your edges. I personally prefer that my edges be covered. Personal preference. Oh, this canvas is I don't know guys, it's got like a little bump in it. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let me just see if I can't help that paint move along. I'm just gonna pour this portion off anyways. So the other thing you can do is you can take your paint from your, and I lost my ribbon. Uh, well, hopefully I can still salvage this. Let me just get it to this corner. Okay. I really don't like this corner, so let's see. We're gonna we're gonna salvage the other ribbon. Oh guys, I just don't know about this one. I lost all my blue almost. There was a clump in that blue, but I found it, so all is well. So just gentle tilting. I really want to lose a lot of that gray, although I'm getting more gray on the other end now. There's some really cool things going on in parts of it, but other parts of it I really, really don't like. I'm trying to lose that gray in the corner there. But the paint's getting difficult to move. All right. I definitely have a goober. All right, I don't think I can tilt it any farther than that, but I also don't think, uh, I don't think that I like this one. So there's a goober right here. Normally I would not pick that out with my fingers. I'd use tweezers, but I don't think I'm keeping this. So let me torch it and see what that does for me. If you guys are anything like me, when you're watching these videos, you kind of yell at the person creating it, no, stop, or do this, or do that. And I'm sure you guys are saying things like that to me right now. All right, let's see what the porch does. I'm getting those cells from getting this just too close. I don't know, guys. Ugh. Yeah, not loving it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. 
we are going to do a second flip cup over top of this and it'll just push all this off i do like this here can you guys see that yeah i do like that but there's that white took over and the black took over uh, let's see so let's try on the bottom let's try orange followed by the quinacridone magenta I'm trying to get them to layer. Maybe that's part of my problem. Let's let's go down the side of the cup. Get some red. I don't have much of this blue left, which is okay because it was a little bit clumpy anyways, but I did like the effect of the blue in there. Oh, look at that, there's a clump. This is what happens when you leave your paint sit too long, but. Let's see if I can get that out. There we go. All right, I really liked the blue in there. Oh my gosh, you guys should see my, the rest of my table and my hands and oh, I'm making a fantastic mess. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Do I put a little cream in? Do I not? I totally went on the outside of the cup there. That was interesting. All right, let's do... I gotta stop and think for a second. A little more bronze. And we'll go back to the quinacridone. I do want to pop a little yellow in here. I tell you what, I thought I had enough paint mixed up for several paintings, but <laughs> that might not be the case. This yellow is just about done. No, that would be the magenta. This is cadmium medium orange. Cadmium medium red. Well, I hope this second flip cup turns out better because I thought I was really going to like that. I think I am going to add just a touch, just a squiggle. Of black and then another squiggle of copper. I don't know. I'm thinking that's probably enough paint. Oh, and you guys are still with me, so that's good. All right, fingers crossed. And this time, I'm just going to do the the. Ooh, if I do that, though, I'm gonna end up with paint all over me. Nope, I'm gonna do it this the easy way. But put it on and flip it over. All right, hopefully this time we don't end up with a falling camera, my gosh. That was just a little bit crazy. Yeah, that black really took over. And I like this area, I mean, there's some things I like just overall, I didn't love it. And in my art room, the rule is it's whatever I want. So if I don't love it, I'm just gonna redo it. Or scrape it. Um, as Julie says, it's just paint. So we just try again. There's like a beautiful, I don't know if you guys can see that blob or not, but there's like a cell with blue and then white and then purple and then orange fading to yellow. Oh, it's pretty. If I could have got that on the painting, I might have kept it. All right, here goes oh, nothing. Oh, my ribboning is not working. All right, let's try this. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, this 
is very red, but look at that right there. I really want to keep that. So we're going to do everything we can to keep that. And the paint's flowing much better this time because there's already paint there for it to go across. Oh, I hope this turns out pretty, guys. Okay, I centered it. I'm gonna get rid of this edge here because I just don't like that black there, but ooh, save that blue. Hmm. This is pretty, I think. What do you guys think? Again, one of those times where I wish y'all could talk to me and let me know. Okay, this line, this lovely ribbon going across is sort of, it needs to move a little. It's almost too straight for me. Let's see what we can do with it. Usually, I have to get somebody else's opinion before I can decide if a painting is a keeper or not, and I don't have anyone to ask. So, oh, let me know, comment. Did you like the first one better than this one? Do you like this one? What do you think? I did get the lovely, um, one of the effects I was looking for was this pink to orange to yellow where it's really just kind of melding together. I like that. I still feel like this is almost too straight, but I don't know. I don't know that I can fix that without losing the other parts. Yeah, I don't know that I want to mess with that anymore. Here we go, we're getting a little bit of a curve. Right there. Yes. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, you guys, usually I am. I don't know. Unhappy with my art until a day or two later, which makes it really hard to know when to stop. I'm not loving this. Let me see maybe if I get some cells through there. I don't know that I want to do a whole lot because I kind of like this with very few cells. I do want to try to, um, I don't know guys, this might have been a bad decision, but I want to get kind of get rid of that. There we go. There we go. And see if we can move this back up. Hmm. I almost like it diagonal. Oh, that's interesting. So funny because you never know which way your painting's gonna go when you pour it. Oh, maybe you guys do. I don't. <laughs> and I am just torching the whole thing. I changed my mind. I don't think it's gonna pull up a whole lot of cells. It'll pop some air bubbles, but you'll get a little bit of action that way. But all right what do you guys think give me a thumbs up if you like this i could do more like this i think i like it i will try to get opinions from my hubby's always a good one he's he'll he'll be the one to tell me yes that's perfect or yeah i think you can do better so i trust him it's nice to nice to have someone who can be a little more objective than me and I'm just checking my edges, guys. Like I said, I like my edges covered. But if they're not covered, I can go around. You can tell I've got drips all over my table. Um, so I just go around and use my finger to pop it back in. Pop the color back in. I did want to show you guys one other thing that I did. So you have all these paint drippings on your table or on your surface. What do you do with them? This is a glass cabochon that I made. Let's see if I can get it to focus.
So I just dipped it in the wet paint and it just, it's so pretty. I don't think it's actually fully dry yet, but I'm trying to be very careful. So they, that's one of the things I do. And then you can put that in a keychain. This one will probably be a necklace. Um, and I just dipped two of them because you can do it with the dry. Once they're dry, you can just glue them onto the cabochon. This one I thought looks almost like a lady. That teal line to me looks like a lady in a very mysterious land. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. So that is it for today, guys. Whew. We had all sorts of craziness. I will take you down for a close-up and I will post pictures at the end. Thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just like Julie says, it costs you nothing, but it lets me know that you like what I'm doing. Um, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this one, I could do more like this. Leave comments. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think because like I said, I'm always unsure <laughs> till I have somebody else say something, which probably says something about my character, right? So, all right, I will see you guys on the next one.